Good morning, everyone. I would like to share with you a short meditation on the Lord's Prayer based on William Barclay, A Plain Man Looks at the Lord's Prayer. I have found this reflection good for my own soul, so if you'd like a copy for your personal use, we can arrange to have this emailed to you. Look in his gospel rites. At one place after Jesus was praying, one of the disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray. As Barclay suggests, the experience of the disciples is like that of many of us. We wish to pray, but hardly know how to start. Jesus, in his answer to the disciples' request, give to them and give to us a prayer and a form of prayer or pattern for all prayer. Commenting on the Lord's Prayer, Simone Weil, the French philosopher and political activist, wrote, The Our Father contains all possible petitions. We cannot conceive of any prayer not already contained in it. It is impossible to say it through once, giving the fullest possible attention to each word, without a change, infinitesimal perhaps, but real, taking place in the soul. Before we commence, I suggest we centre ourselves by briefly focusing on our breathing and stilling the chatter of our egos. You may find it helpful to close your eyes. So over three breaths, let us breathe in and out. In and out. In and out. Our Father, who art in heaven. Abba, you care for us with the constant love of the Father, with such passion of love that in Jesus the Christ you suffered the cross. So great is your love that it covers the whole of the world. Hallowed be thy name. We hold you in reverence. May every action in our lives be a witness to our faith in you and bring credit to your name, the name we bear. Your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven, where your law is love. Your kingdom come within us, beginning with our repentance. Your kingdom come among us in childlike spirit of trust and humility. Your will be done, God of wisdom and of love. Give us this day our daily bread for our physical and spiritual needs, through which we commit ourselves to the service of others, that through us your gifts may be shared with others. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. He who forgives will find for himself the forgiveness of God. Lead us not into temptation. Do not bring us to the test. Do not allow us to be led into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Thine is the kingdom. We are your subjects. To you we pledge obedience and allegiance. Thine is the power. In your love you have heard in your power you will answer. Thine is the glory. 
for we are in the presence of the divine, the splendour of the glory of God. And so we go out into the world, remembering your royal sovereignty, pleading obedience to you, remembering your power and trusting in that power to answer our prayers, remembering your glory and living with reverence which knows that the earth is permeated with your divine glory. Amen.